What's up, y'all? It's me, your girl, True Siri, eleven eleven, back with another video. So we're gonna do um, a few um, Father Day readings for you gentlemen out there, you fathers. And um, remember, the roles could be reversed. If it's not your energy, I'm picking up on. It could be someone you're thinking about, someone you're close to, or just someone in your energy. I could say he. I could mean she. Hopefully, all you, the readings that I do, you know, you get some good news. All right, we always want to shoot for positive outcomes, not negative ones. Okay. But, um, again, the roles can be reversed. If it's not your energy, it's whoever you're thinking about energy. All right, so let's, let's get started. So the energy I'm picking up on is, um, I'm going to make it do what it do. <laughs> Whatever that means to y'all, gentlemen, all right? So, we're going to start with getting y'all some activation cards, all right? Okay, make it do what it do. I'm here and I want to take your fucking clothes off. <laughs> Someone like the woman to keep her heels on while y'all sexing. person feels connected to you it's like your body call each other that's they feel connected and we get some activation cards for these father day reading the reading is a collective reading though so make sure you use your discernment your discernment while you're watching these readings okay could be your story could be the next person's story but anyway we have fertility the frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative, and more joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. Alright, so this basically said, you think good thoughts, alright? You about to birth something new, the number 27 could resonate with someone, the number 72. I'm getting February 7th or July 2nd. Alright. You could be the age of 27. You could be the age of 72. But you're about to birth a new idea. Alright. But stay joyful through it. Enjoy it. You know what I mean? I'm here and I'm about to wise up. So you getting up the courage and the... And the I mean, getting your mind set up and ready for this new adventure. This is a new adventure for someone. <laughs> I say use your discernment, right? So even use your discernment in this video, okay? But we also see that you need to use discernment in all your endeavors, all right? The frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. Alright. It's use it use your discernment while you're approaching anything. That's people, places, things. Always use your discernment. Passion, alright. So that that's why I'm hearing you want to sex somebody. Your passion is on point right now and is at its all-time high. <laughs> the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. Whoever you are, just continue to move from a um, passionate place, all right? The number 34 could resonate with someone. The number 20, the number 27, these could be ages, all right? But whoever you are, you're, pa you're passionate. I'm hearing make it do what it do tonight. So, shit, tonight on Father's Day, you trying to get you some. <laughs> We 
We're going to get some tarot cards real quick. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. May you be happy, peaceful, and enjoy it. leads me to say i'm being guided to say um, get in your kids lives or stay in your kids lives how take it how it resonates all right spirit what's this fertility strength all right you're either guided you're guided to be um to have strength through this and use your discernment to whatever the situation is Everyone's situation is different, all right? That's why you have to discern these stories. This could be a Leo I'm talking about. Could be not. All right. Why do you need to have strength, spirit? Something about your finances. You need to have strength through your finances. It's a seven of pentacles. Or are you just, you're just so focused on money right now, all right? But passion, be focus on passion. Use your discernment. Alright. You can have some type of idea, but you just don't know how to get it started or you want a child. I don't know. <laughs> you know your story. But you worried about your finances. What's this discernment spirit? I'm hearing you're the best part of my story. So someone's feeling like you're the best part of their story. Or like I said, the roles could be reversed. You're thinking that someone is the best part of your story. I think I said it right. Two of Swords. So whoever you are, you're blinded to using discernment. You're not using your discernment. See how they got the blindfolds on? Okay. You're not seeing something. Passion spirit. Whatever this idea is, or if it's a person, take the rose as it resonates, put it where it fits, okay? Um you, you're missing something here. It's like your shit will come into fruition for you when you open your eyes, you're missing something. Spirit, why is the two of swords here? What are they missing? What are they not seeing, Spirit? All right, you got a tower moment coming. Damn. So this tower moment that's going to come your way, you ain't going to see it coming. All right. So it could be a good tower. It could be a bad tower. All right. But if you know you out here and you ain't doing right by people, you ain't living right, this could be something bad, you know. But it's because you're not paying attention. You're not using your discernment in a situation. 820 as I looked at the clock. I'm hearing if you love me, won't you say something? So this is about a person. Passion. So we have the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm pointing toward the Leo. You have Leo out here with the first card out. And we have Leo in this picture. We have a lion. Okay. So, yeah. Fire signs are passionate people. Yes, they are. So their passion is right. So what I'm getting is you keep on, I don't know, sometimes you got to put love before everything. All right? Not sometimes, all the time. The love you should be putting into either yourself or your person, you're not doing it. It's going to cause you to have a tower moment. Because you may be scared to tell this person how you feel about them. I'm here and I can't live my life without you you have all this passion for this person yet you're not telling them how you feel i'm hearing every time i see you walking by i get a thrill like you see this person and this person just do something to you 
<laughs> I'm here. I want to be your man. You want to be someone's man. King of Wands or a woman. It could be a female moving out of her masculine energy. All right. Life is King of Wands here. Yeah, and unfortunately, if you don't make this move, you're going to miss out on true love. This is a marriage. Wow. I'm hearing you better not pass me by. Because if you do, you'll miss a good thing. And that's exactly what these cards are saying. If you don't see something by now in a person you're trying to be with, you're going to miss out. See, what I got to say is sealed with a kiss and a wedding ring. That's, listen, you about to miss, miss out on someone. And this person always on your mind. I'm hearing I can't stop thinking about anyone but you. Damn. I'm hearing I must make you understand. I want to be your man. Alright, so we have the two of pentacles and the five of swords. You could be juggling though. You could be juggling two people and you don't know who to pick. Or you're with someone, but the person you want to be with, I don't know why you're scared to go toward them. I'm hearing I never say what I feel. You got to tell this person how you feel. Whoever this is resonating with, go tell them how you feel. It's like you can't find the right words to say to this person. I'm hearing every time I try to say it, I get mixed up. I'm hearing my mind is blind. Sometimes I can't see anyone but you. Look at this. That's crazy how passionate you feel about this person. And you're not going toward them. All right. It's like you're second-guessing yourself or you're second-guessing the person you want to go toward. All right. Spirit, why is strength in the Seven of Pentacles here? Daydream. All you do is daydream and fantasize about this person, but you don't go toward them. All right. Yes, you do. Why is the tower here with the two of swords? Calm. All right. You need to calm your mind or calm your body. I don't know what the fuck you need to calm, but you need it's inner peace, simplicity, meditation. Meditate on this situation. <laughs> Cause it sounds like something so simple, but you're letting whoever you are, you're letting fear hold you back. Fear bad. Thirteen thirteen. Fear will stop you from getting the best of shit in your life. Shit you were destined to have. Shit that the universe has written in your Akashic records is written. And you scared to take that risk or to go tell that person how you really feel. Maybe, I'm not sure if you was hurt in your past and you're suffering through some type of trauma. All right. Sometimes we are our own worst enemies, you know. It's just four of wands with this king of wands spirit. You have relaxation. You need to relax and calm your mind and body. Sure, give me something on this King of Swords and this Four of Wands, please. We have aid, mercy, charity, kindness. All right. I'm getting that this person is so kind to you. But you, you, you sitting here in this energy... Crying, sadness, fear. I'm here and I think you are the one for me. Here is where you want to be. You want to satisfy, satisfy this person, but you're just stuck in this energy over here. Where you're blinded about this person. We have accident. So be careful if you drive. I see this. If you ride a bike, be careful. Could have some type of accident. Okay. 
Make sure you're wearing your helmets and shit. I'm hearing I wish fifteen fifteen on the clock. I wish you were my lover is what I'm hearing. You sitting here wishing and, and, and contemplating on this person. <laughs> but you're scared to go toward them. I'm hearing I don't want your mind. I don't want your money. So you know that this person won't play mind games with you. And you know that this person won't use you for your money. You could have been someone that gets used by men or women. Alright. Give me the outcome to this situation, spirit. What this person don't see coming. Alright, something could happen in the winter. Something could happen this winter. Spirit. I'm hearing you are my heat. You are my fire. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Revenge, payback, retaliation. <laughs> and it said accident. You need to be careful this winter. Someone going to get some type of payback or retaliation on someone. Hidden agenda, deception, ulterior motive, all right? We have a telephone in the back. Someone could call you with some hidden agenda, all right? But that's them trying to get revenge on you. So fire sign, whoever you could have hurt or did something to, Someone could catch you cheating. That's that two of pentacles. Catch you juggling two people. Someone wants revenge on someone. Spirit, what's this one, sir? Clarify the winning card. I'm here and talk to me. You, because you're my sweet thing. So, you may not be talking to this person. Blocked, ignored, ghosted. Oh, shit. Someone wants to take revenge on you because you ghosted them. You could have ghosted someone this past winter. Or this is... The readings could come out past, present, or future. I don't know if I uh, mentioned that, but... Say if you did something to someone last winter, you ghosted them when the winter was over. I don't know, whatever. And you ignored them and ghosted them. They want to take revenge back on you. Alright? Or this could be future. This winter coming up... You're going to get ghosted or someone else is going, or you're ghosting someone else. Because you could feel stuck, bound, and trapped in this situation. I'm hearing real love. Do you think you deserve it? Cut them off and go and find your purpose. So, yeah, someone's getting, somebody going to get cut off. Ghosted. Someone can hit the gym. I'm here and hit that gym and get back fine. It's, you could be... Say you was in this marriage already. This, and you just fell off. You lost yourself in during the marriage. You know what I mean? That happens. You don't throw that shit on no more. Because you just, it's just you being comfortable with the person you're with. Comfortable in your own skin. You know? But meanwhile, someone else here... I'm hearing you got it. Alright? Spirit said yes. 1919 19 on the clock. I'm hearing, yes, you're my little baby. I'm going to let it be known. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing, fuck that drama. If it ain't about the money, bounce. All right. Hidden agenda. Entanglement, cheater affair. So someone went and cheated, got involved with a third party. There's some type of entanglement going on here. And now they want revenge because you could have cut the entanglement off. You could have cut the third party off. I'm hearing this time the boss up. Fix your credit. 
2002 when I said that. I'm here and go get that degree. Whoever you are, this is going to cause you to unlock some potential, some potential that you didn't know you had. This is definitely getting ready to unlock some p potential. I don't know why I can't talk today, y'all. That you ain't know you had within you. All right. But unfortunately, you know God work in mysterious ways. You're going to have to get cheated on to go through this bullshit. Somehow it's going to activate something in you. Remember in the beginning, this is some type of creative idea. All right. When This is going to create something. You're going to create something from this situation. I'm here, and I know that you're going to get it because you got so much. Don't let anybody tell you that it's over. You got it. All right? You got this, whoever you are. So this is not so much of a bad reading. It's not a bad reading at all, actually. You're just being guided to open your fucking eyes. Stop being blinded to shit. Work on this creative idea you had bottled up, bottled up inside of you. 2121 on the clock. Go for it. I don't know. Maybe when you go someone and go toward this person that you can't stop thinking about, that's when shit gonna take off for you. But where you at right now, you just feel stuck, you feel trapped, you feel bound. Right. Somebody may have you by the balls. <laughs> or if you're a female, somebody got you by your nips, honey. But you need to be careful, though, because if someone going to reach out to you acting like everything all good, and that's when they're going to retaliate. So, you know, you're just being guided to be mindful, to watch your back, use your discernment. All right. I'm going to get you some angel prayer on cards. Then I'm going to end the video. I don't want them too long. I'm here, and they scared to come outside. Are you scared to go outside? I'm hearing ain't nobody safe. Oh, Lord. You could know about someone wanting some payback on you or retaliation and you're not coming outside. I'm hearing, I'm telling God he got to forgive me. You could be praying to God for some type of forgiveness. We have balance. All right. You need to be thanking the angels for bringing your life into balance. All right. So your angels are working around you to bring some type of balance in your life. All right. And I believe when you get out of this situation that's keeping you stuck and trapped. Balance will come into play for you. All right, you want it said calm. Remember calm. Once you get out of this shit, take time to yourself. Don't go jump in another relationship because you're gonna have to heal from this shit. Whatever this is, y'all know y'all stories. All right. But you need to be thanking the angels for bringing your life into balance. If you just got over some shit, you dodged a bullet on some shit. You better be thanking the universe and your angels. I'm hearing, though I feel cursed, I pray for better days. And something is hard on you. It's like you can't catch your break. All right. It says connect with music. All right. Thank your angels for inspiring you through music. All right. So listen to some positive music. Don't go listen to, you know, Tupac and Biggie and all them. Mm. Get some... Positive music, um, inspirational music, all right? Because they bring this balance in for you so you could go through this new beginning, all right? See how this angel, you're coming out from the dark, and then you're going to go into the light, all right? So you're making some type of transition, and that's a good thing, all right? That's what your angels are trying to guide you to do so you could have this new beginning, all right? Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. So you could have went within. 
did some shadow work, okay? And you feel like you are ready. But you got to make sure once you get out of this dark place, you stay in the light, all right? Stay in the light, Caroline. <laughs> and and pray. Pray more than you have ever prayed, all right? The miracle of prayer, all right? Thank you, Sandalfin, for delivering my prayers to heaven. All right. Archangel Sandalfin is the angel that go reports to God and tell him who's praying and who's not. All right. So thank the angels. Your prayers are have been heard and your angels is bringing balance for you, whoever you are. This is a good Father's Day reading. All right. You just need to get rid of. Shit, the, everything that don't serve your life any purpose, get rid of it. Happy Father's Day. Peace, love, light, and blessings to you guys.